Hey guys, you want to see what makes a good cello versus a trash cello? Uh, especially when we get such a large percentage of them at the store um, from people buying them online. If you don't know what to look for, then you don't know that you should probably send it back. So uh, this is just a quick like couple steps to take a look. Uh, this one right here was an Amazon purchase and it's cello shaped and I don't think the tone's gonna be too bad. The problem with this one specifically, it's got a, a satin finish, uh, so it's a lot cheaper to do. So the, my guess would probably be 199, 229, 249. Um, but you can see some basic, you know, there's some, some filler and stuff like this. Um, the purfling edge right here, which is the, uh, the double lines here, those are gonna be painted on, so those are cheap. Um, I don't see any kind of label inside, but uh, I don't know if you can see past there, but there's a little uh, sound post right under there, and that's vertical, which is good. But the reason this one came in is because, um, well, and I hope this is done after, you see the screw head there. Um, I hope someone did that after they bought it, but um, the main reason I'm here to show you is the bridge. So this is the old bridge that it came with. Uh, the customer brought it in because it snapped in half, you can see. I glued it together just to see uh, what the height was like when it came from the factory, um, and it makes sense why. Yeah, so when we broken. look at this, um, there's a couple things that we're looking for. There's not great lighting here, but right there at the bottom of the foot, right about there, you wanna make sure that there's no, um, there's not a large space there. So it looks like they actually did a pretty, eh, pretty decent job fitting this bridge. It's just forward rock a little bit. Um, but yeah, so the fit on the feet is okay. But now the problem with this one is it's just too tall. So this one, if you look down the neck, I mean, that is a crazy, amount of space to have to press. So if you're playing it, I mean, that's crazy. But that's really what you're looking for is to see whether, let's see if I can get this done, whether the height on the strings is, is decent or not. Okay, so this is the new bridge. This one, hopefully you can see it on there. I don't know if you can, but... Um, So the new bridge is thinned out a lot, so the tone is gonna be a lot better, um, and it's gonna be a dropped angle. So this is gonna be shorter so that the strings are gonna be closer to the neck, which is gonna be huge for both intonation and for finger strength, and to make sure that people don't end up with carpal tunnel or anything. The other thing, the other thing that they tried to cover up here is the, uh, the cut of wood. So in this case, what they do is they paint I don't know if you can see these. See the edges right here? They paint those edges so that you can't tell whether it's solid wood or particle board. Um, so solid wood's gonna be a lot better tone. Um, I believe this one's plywood, and you can also tell that it's plywood because you have uh, a flat piece of wood this way, which you can see all of the lines this way. On a good cello, all the wood grain's gonna go vertical like this. Um, so yeah, this is... I mean, with 60 so this bucks... this cello is not going to be horrible once there's a properly fitted bridge and it's up to tune and the string height's proper, but it would not be a good one to just give a kid because it's not going to play well, it's going to hurt your fingers, and it's going to be slightly out of tune too. So uh, that's what makes a funky cello.